Hello, I'm going to take this video and post it on YouTube uh, of a fishing kayak I just bought. I was doing some re trying to do some research before I bought it, and I could not find any good reviews or good video. And I know there were some comments online that showed asked if anyone had any good information that they could post it. So uh, I figured I would take a shot at it. Um, what I did is I bought the Cayman, or the West Marine Cayman 11.5 at West Marine. It is also the same as Perception Sport Striker. And L.L. Bean has their version of it also, but I can't think of the name of the kayak right now. Uh, I paid total about, or about 550 for the package at the store. I made a few additions, which I'm going to go over here in a minute, that I thought it needed. Um, it's uh, got a 500-pound capacity. It is 33 inches wide and 11 and a half foot long. I was fishing out of a 15-foot kayak that was 28 inches wide and set very low on the water. This is much deeper and sets much higher. There's two seats. There's a lower seat for, for paddling, uh, or of course you can fish out of it, and a higher seat where you can get a higher point of view, which down at the local little lake next to the house, I tried it out, and it is, does give you a better, much better perception, much better angle of the water, which when, you, when you're side fishing in shallow water could be an advantage. This package did come with the cords in the back. It does have a decent size well on the back that you can put supplies in uh, the kayak I had did not um, I am going to enjoy that it's bigger um, it came with four built-in rod holders they're kind of large for the fishing poles the fishing poles set in their leaves and they're not super deep so what I did was I went to Home Depot and I bought pipe insulation and I cut it shorter and this is what this foam is then I put it inside then I had some golf club uh, inserts that go in a golf bag it's a real thin plastic sleeve that's i put it in the inside the foam the fishing rods fit in there they are kind of tight but when i pull them out it did not pull pull the foam with the plastic out so i think it's going to hold the fishing poles much better we'll see how that works um it did come with all these eyes in the back the two handles in the front and back it did come with that also there's one of them there's one in front to make it easier on on uh, carrying it did come with an anchor trolley i thought that was a decent feature to add i put one on my other boat and i liked it a lot so i was glad to have this as part of the package it comes with a small hatch right under the seat uh, i don't have too much trouble getting to it to it from my seat but i really don't uh use them much anyway so it wasn't that big of a of a thing to me one way or another this package did have an 8-inch eight, eight hatch up front, which if you buy the Perception Striker, depending on the package and how much you pay, you can, you might or might not get it. It also had the bungee rigging up front also. Here's the handle up front for carrying it. It did not come with these handles. I added them today. Um, it did have these handles right here. I didn't care much for them. I mean, it's hard to get hold of and carry. I'm used to picking it up, by, uh, my kayak up and balancing it on top of me and loading it on a, a trailer I have or on top of my Jeep. Uh, so these handles, I put them where it's easier to balance and I can hold it much better. I think that's a, in, in my opinion, it's a good addition. I did add this Scotty rod holder. There's a place for it up front. Oh, here's your stand up assist strap right here. You can grab hold of it to help you stand up. Here's the flat area in the bottom to help you, the way you can stand up and fish from. It's not a lot of room, but you can move a little bit and turn. Um, I tried it for a few minutes. It felt weird at first. Um, I'm not used to it. I'm 255 pounds or so. After I'm, I never, I didn't fall, I, uh, but but it did feel awkward at first. I got used to it pretty quickly. So I think I'm gonna like that feature, which is the main reason I bought this kayak, and plus for the price. Also, there are two other places on the side to put your Scotty rod holder mount, or if it's not Scotty, I'm sure it'll fit the other brands as well. There's one there, and there's one on this side as also. Um, so I might be adding other things to it later as I feel the need. It did not come with a paddle holder, so I'm either going to put a taco paddle clip on one of the sides over here, or I'm going to put the bungee paddle holder. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I bought both. Um, I'll, I have other kayaks, so either way I'll have a spare, depending on which one I use. Um, here's more of the, the eyes to hold the seats. In the shallow position or in the higher position i haven't used the seat on it yet i haven't really been on a long-term fishing trip with it yet when i do i plan on taking some video of me standing up and taking a shot at it to see what it's like 
uh, down at the local pond when I when I did get in the boat it did feel like it said a lot higher relative to the other kayak I'm used to my son was watching he said uh, it did not look, look like this kayak sank in the water at all so it is it is a 500 pound capacity it's it's very deep it's got high sides I think I'll stay much drier and it, it I think it can very well hold a lot of capacity I hope this helps everybody if they're trying to make a decision on what to do. Um, and, and hopefully I can give you more information soon to help you make a judgment call on which, what you'd like to, to see about this boat as far as in a review.